Hey guys, welcome to Quinian's Budget Crafts. In the Alchemist room here, we've got the poorly made chest that we've already done, and a mattress laying on the floor that has its stuffing being pulled out. So, to make the mattress, you're going to need some tissues and cotton balls. You might also want a small piece of foam that will hold the shape of the mattress for you. This is one that we cut out of the windows and doors and stuff from the last video. It's about the right size. Go ahead and tear your cotton ball in half and then adjust it to fit your rectangular shape for the mattress. Put down some 50-50 water and Mod Podge and stick the cotton ball to the foam. And then just take your tissue and drape it right over the top. Go ahead and cover that in some more water glue. Stretch it around the sides and then uh, let it dry. Just tear off any excess and you're good to go. If you want to try and get the sort of quilted pattern mattresses seem to have in them, you can wrap it in dental floss. Make sure you're using the waxed kind though, so it doesn't stick to your thing here. Once it's dry, go ahead and pull the dental floss off, and then paint the whole thing with antique white. Other than this just being a mattress laying in the floor, the book didn't give much description, but I'm going to assume that this thing is disgusting. So go ahead and mix up some yellow and white. Put that right in the middle. We all know what this is. You can put a little bit more on the corner or wherever you think you might need some. Then mix up some brown and white and go around the edges of your yellow and then a few other spots just to kind of blend it in. Then take your pokey tool of choice and start picking at it to make some spots where the stuffing is coming out. No real science or method to this, just wherever you think there might be some damage. Then you can take a bit more glue and some of the paints and stuff and just water it down heavily and kind of coat everything almost like a wash. Just make sure that you don't put any of the liquid glue on the stuffing that's coming out because it won't look like stuffing anymore if you do that. It's not too bad, but it's really hard to tell what it is right now, so let's put a blanket and a pillow on this thing. For the pillow, just take a semi-rectangular piece of foam, dig into it with your fingernails to make a pillowish shape. Put a bunch of water glue on a piece of tissue and wrap up your pillow. That's pretty much all you gotta do. You can trim off the excess with some scissors and then just stick it right to the bed. Don't forget to paint this up with a little bit of antique white too. In this case, I didn't want the pillow quite as dark as the sheets, so I did the pillow with antique white and then before the paint dried, I went back in with straight whites just to kind of lighten it up a little bit, but it's not glaringly white. For a blanket, all you gotta do is pick out a color you like and then use your 50-50 water glue to water it down. Cut out a rectangle of tissue and soak it in your color and glue. Be really careful applying this because it is wet paint. It will transfer to your other piece. So try to get as much off as you can. You can even let it partially dry first if you want to. But get the shape more or less what you want before you put it on your piece. That way, when you put it down, you don't have to worry about it scooting or, you know, leaving paint somewhere you don't want it. Just put it on there and use your brush to kind of mash it to the shape you want and let that dry. And then, because I did the blanket in a dark brown, I'm going to use the same dark brown and a gray and then use that mixed color to dry brush pretty much everything. Going a little bit heavier on the blanket where the folds and creases are. And then going kind of light on the rest of the bed just to kind of make it look dusty and old. There you go. Now you got a dirty old mattress laying on the ground. And when given some context in the house, it actually makes sense. It looks a little strange laying on the mat by itself. Well, there you go, guys. Quick and easy little uh, gross mattress. You could actually use this for modern day kind of setting or a post-apocalyptic or you know, pretty much anywhere there's a gross bedroll laying around. I imagine those existed in any time frame. Don't forget, jump on that Discord. We are playing a game Friday. I have no idea what, but we're playing. As far as I know, it is at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. That's GMT negative 7. And of course, the whole spiel, if you want to support the channel, you can do so on Patreon, where you'll get exclusive access to the STL files I make, and you can tell me what to build. Of course, you could always just do a one-off donation over on Coffee. I've got a website where I carry all the tools and stuff I like to use. They are Amazon affiliate links, so it doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me out. I also have an Etsy store now. Etsy is being slow right now for some reason, but once everything's up there, all the uh, rollers and stuff that I make will be available for sale. 
But of course, as always, thank you everybody for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.